Greetings and salutations everyone out there on the interwebs. This is Chris McKee coming at you from beautiful, historic Alamo Music Center in downtown San Antonio. We are in the basement today shooting some awesome guitars. The latest we got for you is from Martin, but before we get to that, let me remind you that you can visit us. We are a brick and mortar store, the oldest music store in Texas, probably one of the oldest in the country, and by that, probably one of the oldest in the world. Um, we have been family owned for four generations, and we have the great gear that you need and the service to help you get it. So come and visit us. Uh, we have two locations in San Antonio. You can also find us online at alamomusiccenter.com. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, let's see, where else, uh, Tumblr, here on YouTube. I don't think we have a Grinder app, and that would be uh, kind of uh, disconcerting if we did. So find us in the usual places. Subscribe to the YouTube videos so that you can get the latest and greatest from us whenever it is available. You are going to be the first in line, and that makes you special. Like this guitar. This is a cool new guitar from Martin Guitars. So this is the uh, part of the X series. It's new for the spring. They just released it at Summer Nam, and it is the DX2 AE. Uh, so this is a dreadnought. It's acoustic electric and part of their X series, which is a more budget-friendly Martin guitar that's manufactured in their Mexico plant. Martin's been bringing this since about the mid-90s, if I recall correctly, um, and I might not, so feel free to check me on that and then, uh, you know, go in and, and comment on it and tell me that uh, I'm a fool. But uh, if I'm correct, then you can tell me I'm smart and I remember things, so, you know. That's the kind of conversation and community we can have, folks. So this is a uh, Dreadnought guitar. It's got a, a, a Fishman Sonotone pickup in it. Uh, you've got controls right here in the sound hole for volume and tone. So it's very unobtrusive. There's no big cut in the side or anything like that. Uh, nine volt battery compartments right down here so you don't have to do it between string changes. You can change it as needed along with the connection. This has been a popular line uh, in Martin guitars for a number of years because it brings the Martin Marquee uh, down to a more uh, budget-friendly price point. Now, the pricing on this is subject to change, so always check our website at alamomusic.com for the latest in pricing. But this is a sub-$1,000 guitar. Uh, you get a lot of bang for the buck. Uh, it doesn't come with a case or gig bag, but for the cost, it's really hard to beat from a value standpoint. So let's go over some of the features and then we'll listen to it a bit. The new thing about this guitar, and the reason it's a DX2, first of all, is the top is not spruce. This darker color that you're seeing is actually sapele. Now, sapele has often been called African mahogany. It's not a true mahogany, but it's called that because it is a uh, tone wood that is indigenous to Africa, and it has a lot of looks and uh, properties that are similar to mahogany. So the grain, first of all, looks a lot like mahogany does. And from a tonal standpoint, it's got that rich mid-range that mahogany does, with maybe a bit more on the treble side. Uh, so a little bit more uh, on highs uh, along with that sweet mid-range. When used as a top tone wood, much like mahogany, it's a bit more focused. So you're not going to have the brilliance and the volume of spruce. Instead, you're going to have the warmth and more focused tone of mahogany it would possibly, in my opinion, a bit more of a dampening effect than even mahogany has. Now this really lends itself well to uh, music like blues where you, you have kind of a natural compression and as you lay into it, it gets more focused instead of just getting bigger like you would have with a spruce top. Martin braces this X series when it has a solid top with their uh, X brace. Uh, it's actually an A brace uh, kind of pattern that they utilize on these. It's on the Dreadnought, it's non scallop bracing. And part of that is because you have this huge cavernous space. So the top's big, they need to support it, it's going to move a lot on its own, and that cavernous space that's in the body is going to give you that low end that you want out of a Martin guitar. There's so no binding on this, very simple appointments, uh, three band. Uh, rosette. You've got a rich light fingerboard and rich light bridge, which is a material that's going to wear very, very well. And you have a Stratavon neck made of laminate birch. The cool part of these is the Macassar HPL. So Macassar ebony is becoming an increasingly popular tone wood. Taylor's been doing some stuff with that. Yeah, their new presentation series has Macassar ebony. I have a custom guitar where the back and sides are Macassar ebony. And the, the tone is wonderful, but the grain is also very striking with this one wonderful uh, striped varied pattern. So Martin has chosen to do an HPL back and sides uh, with this Macassar grain pattern on it and it's beautiful and one of the nice things about it is with this Stratavon neck that Martin's using uh, it blends in very well it just kind of it almost looks like the neck is Macassar ebony too it just kind of goes up and then it's topped off at the very top with a Macassar HPL uh, 
what do we call that, headstock. So it's a great guitar, Martin Tuner's one and three quarter inch nut with Martin's very, very popular performing artist neck. So it's a really comfortable neck, a w just wide enough nut so if you've got uh, sausage fingers like I do, you have plenty of room there for your fingers. And then you've got a pickup on it so it's always gig ready. So we're going to listen to this. I'd like your comments to tell me what you think. If you're interested in this guitar, give us a call at Alamo Music or go on our website, shoot us an email. Thanks. Mm -hmm.